What up, what up, it's Danny and in this video I want to be telling you how to be a power builder and in my opinion this is the best way to get the best physique as a natural, you increase your strength and you you just get bigger muscles right so maximize hypertrophy and without further ado let's get straight into the video. So you want to be a power builder and like I said this is probably the best way to get a physique naturally, no doubt about it. I'll show you, uh, in fact let me just put a push up, you can go from this to this as a power builder, right? And the the reason why power building is the best is because you can increase your strength, basically do power power lifting, and then do body building as well. But in this video, I'm only telling you how to do it and why to do it, and all the scientific research behind it, so you can actually understand why it's, in my opinion, the best. I will also give you another kind of power building approach later on in the video. But anyway, let's get straight into this. Let's just jump straight into this, yeah. So first of all, how to be a power builder. Power builder, it says it in the name, is power lifting and bodybuilding. So if you don't know that, come on man. So how, basically how to do it. In your workout routine, you structure it like this, right? And like I said, I'll provide another structural training program later on the video that you can do. But first of all, this is my philosophy and how to just get a great physique, right? So number one, you do power lifting or the, the compound um, exercise at the start of the workout. So that's uh, bench press, squats, deadlifts, pull-ups, dips, all those compound movements at the start of the workout. Mainly I do uh, one to two compound movements at the start of my workout and then all the other workouts are isolation, single joint movements for the bodybuilding portion. Right? So now that I've explained that, it's basically powerlifting, start of the workout, bodybuilding, second part of the workout. Now I've got the basics out of the way, I'll get into more, I'll explain more like the scientific approach, right? So, well it's not really scientific, just why it will actually work. First of all, training the powerlifting and increasing your strength right, will uh, give us mechanical tension and if you watch my previous videos, you need mechanical tension, metabolic stress for maximized hypertrophy gains, right? So that powerlifting portion will give you mechanical tension and then the bodybuilding portion will give you metabolic stress. So when you have those two factors, man, your gains are gonna blow up, I'm telling you about this. Trust me. Whew. So now that we have, I'm not, like I said, it's not really that scientific, but that's just the explanation, right? So mechanical tensions like the, the power lifters and bodybuilding is the metabolic stress like chasing a pump. So in power building, in one single workout, you're increasing your strength like a power lifter and you're chasing a pump like a bodybuilder. It's quite common sense why it's probably the best way to build a great physique naturally because you're combining both together. Of course, you might not like be really, really strong like a powerlifter because that's not your whole intention of focus. But I guarantee your physique will be ultimately probably the best it can ever be. Like basically optimizing your physique. This is power building, right? And like I said, man, this is just the best shit, man. This just transformed my body. Once I start realizing, okay, why increase my strength and I can still change the pump? I can combine both together, right? And like I always say. Progressive tension overload and adding weight onto the bar is the primary uh, driver for muscle growth and then volume is the second. And what you're doing, power building, uh, progressive tension overload, adding more weight onto the bar, the first portion of the workout, second portion of the workout, you're getting that volume in. More sets, more reps, stuff like that, right? And I don't know how to explain this anymore, but it's just I'm just telling you, man, this shit's the best and you're just gonna optimize your physique through the roof. If you're doing, um, how can you say the standard bodybuilding approach following maybe even following your bodybuilders splits like one body part per week like I don't know someone's back attack someone's arm attack something like that I'd say ditch that and start power building man this is the best way to I don't even know how many times I have to say this to increase your physique naturally right so I think I've covered everything um, what else is there yeah so mechanical tension I've covered the power lifting portion the metabolic stress is the bodybuilding push of the workout. And okay, you're probably wondering what me mechanical tension and metabolic stress is. So let me quickly explain that. Mechanical tension is basically, um, you know, the tension on a muscle. So if you're lifting, let, let's say 20% of your one round max, there's not gonna be much tension on the muscle, right? So that powerlifting style or push of the workout puts a lot of mechanical tension on the muscle, but then that's not sufficient enough to get or maximize hypertrophy gains, right? So you need metabolic stress as well, which is the time under tension. 
So first we have the tension, the maximum tension and then the time under tension. You probably heard this a lot before, like time under tension is crucial for maximum hypertrophy and that is, hence why we add the bodybuilding portion of the workout. So basically how I do it and how you should probably, I suggest you do it, is when you go into a workout, switch your brain first of all to let's increase the strength, right? First two um, compound movements or if you would like to call them powerlifting portion, uh, powerlifting exercises, maybe the squat, bench, press, deadlift. Really like move into a powerlifting style frame of mind, increase your strength. After you finish the exercises, maybe take a rest and then switch your brain to the bodybuilding portion. Now, this is when you chase the pump, um, mind muscle connection, all those good things. This will give you, I, don't, I think I said this enough now, this will give you such good gains, man. So anyway, I think I've covered everything in the video, how to be a power builder. And obviously, uh, if you want to get big naturally, do power building, eating a caloric surplus consistency, get enough sleep, eight to nine hours per night at least. And that should be enough to get big as a natural and optimize your physique. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was, how can we say, probably concise enough. I don't know, I kept saying, like optimizing your physique as a natural, but it's because I'm so passionate about this shit, man. I'm telling you. So a transform my body and it's going to definitely transform yours if you incorporate it. So, oh, before we end the video, one sec, one sec, I just remembered. The other um, method I was going to tell you is periodization, right? And I don't care what you do. If you don't do power building, you've definitely got to do this, right? Otherwise, you're not optimizing your maximal muscle growth. And I promise you this, so please listen on. If you don't use periodization, right, you're probably going to be lifting the same amount of weight uh, for one year and you're not going to make any more gains. Periodization is basically what it says. So you're periodizing like you're training from, I don't know, uh, for four weeks you do strength training, six weeks you do hypertrophy and one week you deload. So that's the strength portion is still making you adding more weight onto the bar and then when you go back to your hypertrophy cycle, you're actually lifting more weight in the same rep range as you did before, right? So that's greater time and attention still. So that's why periodization is the best and I'm telling you power building is basically doing periodization in your in your how can we say in your workouts and then you can do like I said block periodization like in weekly weekly things right so four weeks strength six weeks hypertrophy one week dealer whereas I just do it and how I personally recommend but I'm not saying this is better than the other one it's probably not it's just in my workout I like to do strength and hypertrophy in the same workout that's just what I like so anyway um, as always, let's end. we can end the video here. Make sure to follow me on all social media platforms. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you found it useful. And as always, stay positive, stay smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.